Our Boy Whipping Party is, at its core, a poem written by Robert Hunter that was recorded by the Grateful Dead in 1969 for their album Oxa Moxa. <laughs> this odd sort of studio experiment. A lot of the album experimentation the Dead were doing at the time involved a lot of that, layering a lot of live performances over studio tracks. The boys were saying things over the top of it and they were playing with looping. It was Hunter's poetry that was being read, but it was a chance for them to experiment with the 16 track uh, editing equipment. Gorilla lighting is the practice of lighting buildings or spaces or people in a sort of unofficial, unannounced fashion. You just show up and you do it. Seems I have been here before. Okay, so we did that. We got away with that. How do we step it up the next notch? Mark came to us with this idea for a poem that he really, really loved that was done by the Grateful Dead. And he said, here, I want you to listen to something. I had my iPod and I said, here, listen to this, listen to this. It's such a change to what you think you are about to hear, you have no idea. How can we make this sound and this experience live? Evan and I spent a lot of time talking about what it means as a performance and how to make this happen, how to make it really experimental and collaborative. <laughs> All of the design members have had to create this expansive world. We've really pinpointed it down to its finite things, how the animals exist within this space and how the herd does and how the pack does. We're telling the story that we've identified in the Dead's recording. It's a chance to make a performance something that is much less scripted. It's very improvisational and it's immersive. One of the really most exciting things for me as a, a fan of the Grateful Dead is that Robert Hunter gave us his permission. And he said, well, what the hell, why not? The actual physical creation of the razor blade forest in this parking lot is going to be mind blowing. I'm hoping that we unlock uh, so many of the senses, the sight, the smell, the touch, the sound, and that people walk away from it and they, they just can't stop thinking about it. They're not sitting back. Uh, watching, separated by 30 feet in a proscenium in darkness and light. It's something that we've put on paper, we've sketched out, we've made models of. They are in the world, the performers are around them, they hear it everywhere, they see it everywhere, they feel it everywhere. I'm hoping that that experience can carry over and it, it can become 360, it can, it can surround the audience and make it something truly inspirational and, and unforgettable. I think with, with your support, we take it out and plop it down in the middle of, in the middle of the real world. And here, have a theatrical experience. I think it's gonna be exciting, I think it's gonna be fun. <laughs>